Okay, everybody, my name is Amy Elias, and I am the founder of Real, Raw, and Rowdy. Be you, love life, and change the world. A soulful truth revolution. Why all those words? It's because throughout my life, I have found that when we are not really who we really are, because we're not able to either find it because of the way that we were raised, or because we've covered it up because of certain kinds of experiences that we've had, that we create a sense of our false self, that we really never know who we really are. So it's because of this experience that I've had in my life where I found out that certain things really weren't true, things were true, things were covered up, there were lies, untruth, mysteries, deceptions, so that I kind of felt like, who am I? I was able to push through and able to get over and be really successful in my life. And there came a point where like everything kind of fell apart, it imploded. And I lost my sense of connection to who I really was. And in that, my self-esteem kind of went down. But people from the outside might not have really known, noticed it, except my very close friends. And I wanted to call back this place of authenticity, this gift that we all have, that we're born with. And it's still there. This isn't a way that we have to go learn how to be authentic, but it's an uncovering of sorts. And because I've been through that, I know what kind of cover-ups we do so we can push through and muscle through like we're really cool and together and we have it all fine. But really it's that, how do we, when we show up really truly authentically, we can have relationships that are intimate. We can really have the career that we absolutely love and the life that we love and, our, and parent in a way that really uh, reflects our values. So the why and the what of our life, at that point, dovetails and goes together. And as soon as we lose the why and the what starts going off in this direction, we feel unhappy or we notice that something is really not okay. It's that point that I really want to help people coalesce so they can find who they really are without subjugating themselves or anybody else. So this real roar and rowdy means the time is now, let's be real, let's get down, let's say it the way that it is. Instead of Lance Armstrong um, doping or Stark his tuna is now pretending that they really were Dolphin safe but they weren't. Or this gentleman, Mr. Bartolo, Bartolo, I forgot his last name, from the Oakland A's, also taking drugs. And Mr. Marcus, who is LA's famous porn star, gets diagnosed as having syphilis, but he decides just to take the medicine for the 10 days that we're supposed to, and on the 11th day, he can go back to having sex and not tell anybody. I feel it's my personal feeling, enough is enough.